Welcome to the Bali vlog. Yeah, let's chaotic day. Danny's already chaotic. <laughs> no. It's our first proper day in Bali. If you saw the previous vlog, it was our chaotic travels to Bali. But today we are officially day one of Bali. <laughs> This place is really cute. Like all the, like just like good vibes. But us being the most good. like structured people ever, they'll be like, we need to do this and this and this and this. And we're like, no, we need to just go with the flow. Yeah, we're like, we're here to have a relaxing holiday, which Danny, no, no, no. <laughs> No injuries, please. We're here to have a relaxing holiday, which we need to have structured and organized and planned. Yeah. Oh, look how pretty it is when the sun yeah, comes out. Like, know. even in front of those like green palms. Oh my god, we're gonna take so many photos. There was so many options for brekkie, and I got the randomest mix because I just didn't know what to do. How's your brekkie? It's really good. And guava juice? Yeah, it's good. The coffee, I need to get me up for though because um, I don't know how I'm gonna go with my coffee. <laughs> We have just melted in the sun for a few hours, but we're living our full on actual best lives. Yeah. We are already, sorry, we're just locking our safe. Our password is 6969. We have already gotten burnt and darker. I know we just put more sunscreen on, but I feel like I'm gonna, like, we don't have makeup on our face right now and I feel like it's getting red. Aww. We've had so many like moments where we're just like, I love you so much. With like little demons. We're going to walk to Seminyak Square, which is a few k's away. Do a little bit of shopping. Cozzies to get for Danny. I call them bathers, but She's apparently wrong. they're cozzies. And we're going to just look at like the knockoff market store cheap stuff. Also cute jewelry. Yeah. We're going to get our boys stuff. Yeah. You're cute jeans. And our soul stuff. Yeah. That is cheap. <laughs> it's really so And then we want to book a massage before we go. Yes. And we're also going to suss out where we can train. Yes. We do need to have a little look ski. We need a little bit of gym. My too. body feels okay. I know. So does mine. We woke up like, oh, in all sorts. But like since having a relaxing morning, mm. having some proper breakfast. A like good food dinner, Also, also like, walking in the pool a little bit, I feel like helped too. Sun, drunk, 
we will do lock off market store haul later in the week i'm gonna try another one of the milks that i bought which is literally just milk and skim milk powder that is not good step count is oh can you click it <laughs> so it lights up it didn't light up <laughs> it's not working why is my watch doing it it worked <laughs> <laughs> 19,000 steps. There we go. We did a lot of work. <laughs> Day two. We are heading out to get a training session done this morning. All right, let's go. We just we just fought for our lives. Look how look how red our face is. Yeah. We just fought for our lives. That was the hardest. Look, I don't know if you can see my like crop top is literally. It, that's sweat. It's not water. I don't know if you can really see. <laughs> I sweat no, I a lot. As, I sweat yeah. a lot as is though. Like even in Perth. We ended up just having to do a lot like, of warm up before yeah. and after and cool down. And we just had to do like 150 with a minute between because the sand, we're fighting for our lives. We had to like dodge so... the whitewash every rep. Danny's ankle wasn't feeling it. Yeah, I know like it just sounds not so stupid, but like the the whitewash wasn't going up as high yesterday. So we we're like, oh my God, there's so much room, like hard sand, like it's going to be perfect. Obviously tire changes every day, like, you know, erosion and shit like that. But like, <laughs> I just chucked some smart words in there. But anyways, the tide was like so much higher. So we're like oh. dodging it and having to run onto the soft sand. Oh, the sun but... is coming out now. My ankle's already a bit dodgy, so it was just like not good for her. Yeah. Ankle. We are now going to give ourselves five minutes to get through the bodyweight exercise we have and then dip in the pool because we're drowning, we're drowning rats. Yeah. And then we're gonna go seek out food. Done 10 push ups in a very long time. I just, I feel like this is just needed to be in there. So we <laughs> just spent like, it was about 20 minutes. It was more. Okay. It was 20 minutes, no. <laughs> Anyways, we spent, we spent maybe like half an hour taking photos of Sina, literally having everyone stare at us at this resort, but that is, um, it's fine. Cause you just gotta, you just gotta go through with it sometimes. Are we ever gonna see these people again? No. Okay, goodbye. Just had a one hour massage. Feeling quite zen now. No, that's just going ham with our photo shoot right now. Oh, thumbnail. That was perfect. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. We ordered dinner by the pool in our hotel and we're actually living our best lives. Mm -hmm. Like, we got a massage and we just took some photos and now we're just chilling. It has been a really nice afternoon. I feel like this morning was a little bit fighting for our life vibe again. I know that sounds so stupid, like <laughs> training and stuff. It just, it was. It and was. Then like I had to have a nap and take time at all. I know, and then while she napped, I edited and then I came out here for like an hour. And, and then we were both kind of dead for a period of time and now we're like back alive. Yeah. Living our legitimate best lives. It's very, very, very slight. It'd be a little bit more like best lives for our boyfriends here, but I was like, actually, no, it's not. 
It's like that's nice because we're here and they're like at home and we still, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the boys watching this. <laughs> they absolutely don't watch it. No, they I'm absolutely like, won't, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, if you're watching this, Imogen you. loves you. <laughs> Aaron, if you're watching this, I love you. Oh. <laughs> also, we can do another trip when the boys are here, but this angle is. We also I'm decided. Really struggling with this. And right this now. is really forward, but whatever. We decided that when we're older and have families, <laughs> I'm coming on family trips with two of the two families. And we're gonna chill out and get massages and the dads are gonna look after all the kids. That just seems like a... I'm drinking this juice too fast and I'm, this is too much. I want another one. <laughs> I know, me too. Chicken Sanger. Chicken Sanger. <laughs> same thing. Because we've actually ate the exact same meal pretty much every single time. And to have this just brought to us at this pool. Because Bali is so affordable, I can't deal with it. day and it is my six by four birthday i'm talking in timetables because i'm just not ready to be six times four we are living our best life so this morning we went and just got brekkie five dollars fifty for smoothie bowls today we are going to beach club so danny's getting ready and she did a little bit of makeup on me to practice I don't know what Cosy's to wear, we're both having this dilemma. Oh, yeah, First world problem. I mean, you can show the options, but you guys can't vote. Yeah, no. Danny has these three options. I have these three options. One of them I've already worn. Yeah, it's I just like... The ones hanging up, I've already worn, and I love them. They're like, probably my favorite Yeah. Color. I wore them yesterday, and I took so many photos in them that I obviously need a different pair for today. That is my dilemma, because my favorite yeah. ones I've already... We've, we've done yeah. our favorites. But then I'm like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the biggest first world problem. I'm so sorry. Um, we're just walking down because it says our Uber is here now. But look how bougie we both look. Imogen looks. No, but like the sun we, is in the white. Fit, the yeah. Chanel sunny. It just is very, very bougie. But I think our, our Uber, <laughs> our Bali Uber, our Gojek is here. Our <laughs> <laughs> It's really good. Um, it's really strong, but like it's good yeah. All the time. <laughs> I literally just down that so fast, and it's like. And the problem is that Imi is more of a lightweight than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my best. Aggressively <laughs> slurps. We're both just slaying, like slaying so hard right now. Yeah, we. Well, inside our Instagrams here, and you can go also, look at us like photos later. Right There's a Chanel. <laughs> no one's gonna know that they're not real Chanel. Okay, also, they are real Chanel. I do have a bit of a cold, but we're just gonna power through. And she doesn't look like she's got to them. It's, it's like, fine. Also, not us vlogging and always seeing my student card on the back of my phone. It's such an ick. Um, apologies for everyone that may or may not have seen Imogen's Instagram story right now. I'm apparently the star. I lost my mango and I lost my strawberry. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to a TikTok here and there. We've had two singular drinks. No, but they're cocktails and we're in bar. I don't know bar. what singular drinks at this point. I, I can't feel my face. You have to just be like, it does nothing. Every day doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to like have fun and enjoy yourself. No, no. I've seen like rumors about that he like fell into a pond <laughs> and apparently had to get jaw surgery. But personality wise, it makes him attractive. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Anyway, about it like when we're all getting ready and stuff. But um, I do love that I came back to the sport and that I persevered with it. The lovely people here just brought this out. I was not going to lie, lying here fighting for my life. And then I hear Danny talking to someone about my birthday and I look up. No, I was like over the day looking deader and deader. Just help yourself. Just do a walk, I reckon. I literally feel like throwing up, but we obviously had to try this. It's not me breaking into it for Imi's birthday, but... Yeah, but please do it because like, that was so sweet. I literally cannot eat it, so... Me like passed out and you just like, 
I ended up really counting like an hour when I wasn't like about to. I mean, I put it in the shade, but like I don't think it's gonna survive. Yeah, I'm gonna try a little bit. Oh, it's like the texture. It's so rich. Yeah, like a small is good. That's so cute. Even like the happy birthday. Yeah, happy 24. That's such a random age. Isn't 24 such an irrelevant age? How's your birthday been so far? Quite slow. And yeah. Quite dead. For reference, I had two drinks. But they were definitely more than. Um, how much cocktail drinks do you think were in one? At least two shots. Like probably more. Maybe two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. I had a nice day with you. Aww. I had a nice trip. And we're only three days in out of ten. Extremely random food today. The guava juice is so pretty. Cheers. You can be in it. <laughs> I love that you literally just ask if it's okay to go to our house and build furniture for us. Just enjoy your day. Like boys bonding really session. Love that so much. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. I'll actually do that. What happened? So much adrenaline. I couldn't hear. You know when you like couldn't hear? I couldn't hear. Oh, I thought it was. Oh. No, I couldn't hear. So much adrenaline said. because A, he's like, a lot of people have been talking to me about your stories. And yeah, I was like, okay, I, I feel like I, I might throw up. I couldn't hear. Second that. lot of adrenaline was my fucking marks coming out. Um, I do want to know what was said though. It's been raining all morning, so we've literally just been like chilling the fuck out. Which is nice because I feel like we've been pretty like stressed to a degree of trying to like add a lot of yeah. stuff into our like, days. Like we've been like. Mega active. Yeah, which is good. Like, it's been nice, but our bodies were breaking down yesterday night. Like, we, we literally, like, DNM'd at 4 a.m. because we kept waking up and being like, how are you feeling? Yeah, both felt like shit. <laughs> I had an existential crisis last night, guys. Like, one of our 4 a.m. DNMs was me being like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just, like, I don't know. It just kind of all hit me that I was like, it's my first birthday that I haven't seen my family, like, my parents, or, like, the friends that I grew up with. I feel like I've neglected my other life. Mm. Maybe in Hannah Montana right now. No, I definitely think you just felt like you picked up your life and left. Yeah. Like, for forgot about, forgot that you did that. Like mm. it was kind of just like, you were just freaking out that you weren't there enough for the people back at home, which yeah. also they're so understanding too. Like, yeah. Yeah, and then one of the things I was like, fuck, like the stories that I posted yesterday. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know, they're a little bit unhinged. They're a little bit unhinged. Did you add them to the Bali? I unhighlighted okay. them. I was like, <laughs> maybe after not. Michael called me today, I was like, let's not keep those highlighted. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like us having fun and like not being smashed, but I was smashed, but off two drinks because I'm can't handle alcohol. But also, you weren't like off. It was funny. Like it was. It fun. was funny. We rewatched it last base. night, late when we kind of recovered. I feel like we're making an apology video right now, but that's not what. That's not where this is going. YouTuber apology to. Yeah. Literally the singular person that might care. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, but it just got us thinking. I was like, this is kind of a nice topic to chat about. Because mm -hmm. I was saying how, I don't know, like I was overthinking my image and like what people think of me. Because I'm in two minds where I'm like, I don't want to post stupid shit because I know that people look up to me and I don't want to be just like, I want to be respectful. But then another thing that I want to be able to show, show is like, it's fun. It's important to have fun in life. Because a lot of the stuff I share is like, being a workaholic and grinding in terms yeah. of like study and training and like before I was doing this master's like work and and then a lot of people I know follow me because of like finding self-love and balance yeah. and recovering from a mental health illness and anorexia and seeing that life can be fun and enjoyable yeah so part of me is like actually it's good to share that like you can just live your life and not give a shit and it's like ah oh, it doesn't matter what people think but then it's like I'm in two minds it's, it's really hard but it is so important that like to realize that you can do both like Imogen doesn't take the piss with it to the extent where you're like drinking every weekend not that if people do that that's so fine but like she I feel like is showing a very good like life balance of like training almost every day and like studying every day and like trying to mm -hmm. put her like trying to like prepare for her future but it's important also to let your hair down and have fun and like show you have a personality and like 
Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just like, yeah. like, I feel like Instagram can be so serious where you are just showing highlights and you have to show the best version of yourself 24 seven and you have to look perfect and you're like so worried and tense and like, you know, not everyone's Instagram is like that, obviously, but it can be a bit like lifeless. Like her story was fun. And <laughs> this is important to also talk yeah. about too. Like it's actually good to not care what people think sometimes and also just like, have fun with life. Life is short. As I said in the fucking story. Exactly. Life is yeah, short. Yeah, I am still in two minds. I'm like, oh, like, the, I don't want people to look up to me as an athlete and be like, oh, that's so unhinged. But, but I'm like, a lot just of, have fun in but life. But it's so important, even if you do get to that high level of, like, becoming an Olympian or being, like, an amazing athlete, that you still have that balance. It's like, if I was ever to become a famous athlete or someone that was well known and people looked up to I would want people to still see that you can have a balanced life and be the best at something that's why I feel like it's important to share because like I used to not drink I like the first three years of being out I didn't touch alcohol I never went out I never went to a party my whole life revolved around flogging myself only touching like the cleanest food and I'm like life is so much better when you're balanced and like and that's like one level of the extreme yeah. which is unhealthy like yeah. you can't live life like that and especially not for a long period of time I understand like you sometimes do have to concentrate and it is important mm -hmm. to have goals and ambition and not take the piss with it where you're you know not doing what's best for your future self mm -hmm. but also if you're having fun along the way regardless of where you end up you're gonna look back at the journey and be like I had such a good time if 90% of the time you're like grinding and 10% of the time you're like letting your head down. Yeah, you're That's not... so much healthier than 100% of the and time grinding and feeling like... And so what... I'm just staring into space right now. I know. <laughs> being afraid and like it um, being a mega stressful thing. And also what sorry. if you... No, it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> I started trying to thought as yeah. well. What if you never get to where you want to get and you've spent all this time and energy being so strict to the point where you haven't been able to have any fun and you get to a certain point and you just haven't been able to achieve what you've wanted and so you can't look back at the journey being like I had lots of fun I enjoyed myself because instead you're looking back at it being like fuck I was so strict and missed out on so many opportunities and other chances because I wanted this like one thing yeah and that's like with any goal you have I think not us having like a little podcast chat right now yeah <laughs> I think with any goal you have in your life at the end of the day it is the journey to get there yeah so if you haven't had fun along the way and like experienced and like grown as a person along the way to get to wherever you want to be when you get there it's just what's the point yeah everyone has a different story and a different journey and it's just important to be able to share those mm -hmm. anyway we really need to go and train yeah fuck we're really procrastinating yeah this. okay let's go get changed and train and then just enjoy the rest of our day yeah. but good chats guys yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs>
come on. Okay, yes, it worked. 17,000 steps today. We've had a another fat day. But we've also had a great day and we've just been just chilling together tonight. It has been so much fun. This has actually been the best night and it's been the earliest night that we've gotten home. Exactly. We haven't been like having dinner at fucking the worst hour. Like now. <laughs> I feel like you are. I feel like you're looking darker than me right now. I think it's just, I'm just looking more golden, I think. Like, I have a yeah. different color tan in me. No, no, it's having DMs about the meaning of the world at like 3 a.m. We stayed up so late now, like two nights in a row. Okay, okay, the first night we didn't stay up. We went to sleep and woke up. But last night we stayed up talking and then we woke up again in the middle of the night and then we woke up early. So I know that sounds like such a stupid thing to complain about on holiday, but like, I really want to blow bubbles right now. We can talk. We always like <laughs> our talking just doesn't stop, and we it's live ridiculous. together, and it still doesn't stop. And we were like, okay, we're spending the next ten days together in Bali, like a hundred percent. We'll have moments where we don't have something to say, and we'll just be like a quiet time. Like we're like we'll definitely have time to just chill and relax and not talk. I don't think it's possible for us to ever. <laughs> we have so many topics to talk about all the fucking time. It's actually ridiculous. Like we just don't shut up. Yeah, literally like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. We'll just randomly like wake up and start DMing about something. Like last night we stayed up till like 1 a.m. And then DMing about life, the Big Bang Theory, the universe, and then Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. <laughs> and then we were like, okay, we probably should go to sleep. So we go to sleep. Literally hits like 7 a.m. Again, yeah. just <laughs> don't stop. little haul of the things that we have been buying or what I've bought at the market so far. I love going to the markets and bartering. This was over a few days. We went on the first day and then we went yesterday. But yesterday we mostly just got stuff for the boys. We're feeling like very good girlfriends. So I got this tote bag. It feels like not that bad quality. I kind of don't really, I would not know the difference between a real one and a fake one because I've never had a real one obviously, but love that for me. $25 compared to I don't know how much it costs. Then I got fake Burks, which have been like the actual biggest sleigh. I've worn these every day of the trip. Danny also got the same Burks, and then they were so good that we went back to get more. So I got a second pair in this pastel blue color, and I also got Michael a pair in this color. Okay, then I got a bunch of sunnies and also two t-shirts for Michael. So I'll show you the t-shirts I got. Got some cool print on the back. This one, which is such a nice color and also has a really cool print on the back. I got myself two designer sunnies for 10, 10 or $15. They're definitely not real. She was like, oh my gosh, Danny, the, um, the fucking Chanel logo is already like half rubbed off. <laughs> like it's, there's so, no C, there's no L. So I'm not proud of, it's just pra. <laughs> <laughs> At least when it rubs off, it's kind of just like generic sunnies yeah. that don't look like fake, fake brands. So I got this Chanel. It made me feel extremely bougie. Then I got these, which I don't even know what that brand is because I, it is also Chanel, <laughs> but it doesn't say Chanel, it just has the like logo. Not the Balinese people when we try to ask how much it is saying like a hundred dollars because they're real. Yeah, cool. <laughs> then I got these for Michael. Say that they're polarized. I wonder if that's real and that they're Ray-Bans. And then I got him another pair, which I don't know, like the, he sent me a design of the star he wanted and I just couldn't find anything like it and these were the closest thing I could find. And the first pair I found, because there's so many stalls with the same thing, the guy wanted like $70 and I was like, this literally feels like, it, it feels like it's worth one single dollar, like it's a cheap piece of plastic. And he literally just wouldn't have a bar of it. So then the guy that I end up getting them for $8 from, my tactic, my tactic has become to just say the price I'm going to offer and instead of like argue with them I'm just like mm, okay and then I slowly walk away I was like don't worry then and then I slowly walk away and then they're sometimes like okay okay fine I think we might look at a few more markets because I freaking love looking through them 
anyway, that's that's a little haul. So see you tomorrow. We just had the best, best feed of our life. It was so fucking messed up. We've also had a, a sleigh day and we, uh, we don't know where we are basically. We're trying yeah, to walk her back. 100% lost, but like it's 100% giving me not safe vibes. Yeah. I'm 100% kind of scared. Actually, at this point, you know how you like we're going to reach our step max of the trip? Yeah. I might actually meet, meet, reach my step max of my life, like step PB yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. Because we're lost in Bali. Yeah. Let's like not actually walk in the second oh, place. I'm scared because I know. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, there was a rat before and I screamed. Can you guys see this video? It makes me smile, which is a bonus. How far down do you think that would be? We would like head us to the beach. That's what I'm thinking. Should we find out? Let's Maybe just like a little bit further. I don't really know. And also, don't fall in that. Yeah, if I fall in that, I'll probably die of either um, death. Like we're on that. <laughs> I love how we're like, if we hold our hands tighter, <laughs> we'll be safe. We'll be safer. Agreed. Wait, There's that car's car slowing, slowing down. down. We're going back. We're going okay, back. We should turn around. We're going I, back. We're, we're going back. back. We're going back. It's <laughs> 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 us right now. No. I need to find another Australian that can tell us how we are. I'm so confused. It's like I'm so full. I might vomit. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to a footpath, so I feel like that is safe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I feel like we need to not vlog and try to get yeah. home and survive. Yeah. So we're just gonna vibe for the rest of the our last little bit now. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. They were midway through our bowls and 
it's okay. I just dropped my broccoli tray, but it's so fucking broccoli tray. <laughs> This is just bowl. It's like one of the best things we, I've eaten ever, but I've said that about almost every meal in Bali. Oh my god, that just looks so good. It's just so wholesome and so tasty right now. Like, it looks so good. But the vibes are high today. The vibes are high. <laughs> high. <laughs> We're set up by the pool. Vibes are high. So nice. We're just having the best time. We actually had a great morning, and the whole day we've just been like, I love our life. <laughs> Daily coconut. Ooh, slaying. I know you're probably gonna just do this as a montage, but like. I might have a sip of that. So much. Because they're so good. Look at you. They're just so cold and like refreshing. Are you zooming in? Yeah. Of course, it has to stop doing that vlogging though. Not a slay. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the worst I have looked to date on this camera. <laughs> <laughs> is it honestly? Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving it's giving we've done like a long haul flight for the last few days. On the way to And my favorite type of people are sitting in the room. So it's a little bit chaotic getting to the plane right now. But anyway, um this is the outro. This plane so cool. Also our new rings. I had to buy a ring to put on this finger so people would stop praising to me, but <laughs> just kidding, I just love it. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I know. Follow both my Instagrams, Danielle's is this, and mine is this. Bye. Bye. <laughs>